The second group of people I have in mind, and we can close here, are those that will watch this video mm -hmm. and, and think about the monastic life and, and see it as a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and say, man, like, I would love to be more committed to prayer. I, I would mm -hmm. love to incorporate more of that into my life. Um, but I, I work nine to five, mm -hmm. I've got four mm -hmm. kids at home or, or sure. what, yeah. what. What advice would you give to them mm -hmm. that maybe see this and they have this wonderful sense of like, ah, I, I wish my life had that level of prayer mm -hmm. in it, but I don't know how to incorporate that in, sure. in my life. What would you say to them? Right. Uh, a, a few things. One is to remember that, that we are saved as a church, and mm -hmm. so all of us are connected through our baptisms, and uh, one of the things we're doing is praying for you. You, you, have, you have people in the cloister who take up this life for the service of the church, mm -hmm. and we're all in communion with one another. That doesn't excuse anybody from personal prayer, and if you want to have a stronger personal prayer life, I, I mentioned the first part because we all need encouragement, and yeah. it's good to know that other people are struggling at this w with us. Uh, but the first thing is, is pray as you can, mm -hmm. and try to pray regularly. So yeah. if you can pray morning prayer, evening prayer, maybe some short prayer in the middle of the day, Start with that and be really consistent with it and tenacious about being consistent, even if it's two minutes. And then once you, that's a part of your routine, you can start expanding it. And then the other piece of this is uh, just to learn, I would say to memorize some Psalm verses or memorize the Jesus prayer and try to find time in the day, write, write down a, a, a verse from the scripture and keep it in your pocket when you have a minute, pull it out and just read it and think about it as you're doing something. If you have a coffee break or something, just pull out a little scripture thing and just think about it. Yeah. Let Christ be present to you at work, at the coffee break, uh, in your commute. Mm -hmm. um, he is there and he's, he's uh, we don't have to be necessarily saying things to God all the time, uh, but we, we can be aware of his presence and or perhaps even what he's trying to communicate to us at those moments. 